Hey everybody, Steve Hernandez here back out again with another video for you all. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. If you guys are a returning viewer, I appreciate you. This one's going to be a hiking review video. This one's going to be at Reinhardt Redwood Regional Park. The trail is going to be called Stream, Redwood Peak, West Ridge, Orchard, and Brittle Trail Road. That was pretty long. Uh, but if you guys are new here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you what I thought was the best things I've seen in this hike, and then I'm going to go a detailed breakdown. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you afterwards. Can I ask a question to help with some reflection? Try to get in right then. Really what I'm feeling. Cause I've been feeling confused. Rocked in my mind are our tunes. The tunes we wrote, but never done. Nothing seems to go. enjoyed that video so now let me give you a detailed breakdown of the hike so i track all my hikes two ways first through the all trails app which i highly recommend downloading if you haven't done so and you're starting to hike great application second way is through my apple watch so according to the all trails app it was 7.1 miles elevation gain was 1227 feet total time or moving time was three hours and 13 minutes total time was three hours and 15 minutes calories burn was 1679 According to my Apple Watch, it was 7.07 .07 miles. Elevation gain was 1,307 feet. Active calories was 851. Total calories was 1,206. And I averaged about 81 beats per minute. So right off the bat, um, I'm gonna start off with parking. And you don't need to pay for parking if you don't want to. If you get there before eight o'clock or if, you like, if you're an early hiker like me, um, you can actually park right outside. So when I got there around seven ish, there was already cars just parked on the side of the road right out, right in front of the entrance. So you can just park there if you're planning on getting there early, just park there and then just start uh, walking to the entrance and then begin your hike. So if you don't want to pay for parking, you, that's also an option, but also you can wait until eight o'clock if you decide to get there later and then park inside the park as well. If you guys go after it rained, like say like a few days or a week after it rained, you might catch a really nice stream. Uh, when I hiked uh, on the right side of the hike, there was supposed to be a stream there, but it was so dry because we haven't had rain yet over here. Um, so I was able to catch that. So if you do go and, it, and you go after it rains, you might really catch a really beautiful stream as well. So now I'm gonna show you a picture of the trail itself. So I'm gonna show it over here. 
Um, I always like to do my hikes counterclockwise. I don't really know why. I just got in the habit of doing it. So now I just do every hike counterclockwise, if not most of the hikes counterclockwise. And the one thing I will say uh, is if you're starting this hike is the first 1.7 miles is really flat. So it's a great, great warm up. Just get your legs going. Mile two is when it starts inclining a little bit, but then mile three and four for sure just starts inclining. And I personally really like that gradual incline just because you get your legs warmed up instead of just going immediately and in incline like I've done in some of my other hikes where it kind of wears you out really early and then you're kind of struggling throughout the hike or you have to take a break to catch your breath, eat a snack to get your energy back up and then continue the hike. So I really enjoy that from this hike. The people that I would recommend to do these hikes are for sure intermediate hikers, but also beginner hikers who are planning or who want to do a little bit more challenging or see if they can do those intermediate hikes. Just because as I said before, the gradual incline in mile, like the flatness of like one, the first mile, mile, mile and a half, the two miles, a little bit incline, and then the three, four incline. I really appreciate it just because I got my legs warming and I think it's really good just to test yourself a little bit. So this hike is perfect for that. So you can see where you're at and then from you can gauge after doing this hike, be like, hey, maybe I'm able to do the intermediate hikes. This is really great, a great hike to just to gauge where you are if you're planning on doing an intermediate hike as a beginner hiker. And as an intermediate hiker, I think this is a great hike as well. So just a quick recap of everything really quick. You don't have to pay for parking if you don't want to. If you get there before eight o'clock, you can park outside but you can decide to choose to park inside if you want. I think it's a $5 fee. Um, when you're starting the hike, um, it's a great warm up. You're gonna have like a mile, mile and a half, it's flat, and then it slowly, gradually starts inclining. So be prepared for that as well. You can also bring your dogs here. So if you have a really active dog, uh, you can bring them here and do these hikes. I think this is a great, great trail for them as well. Overall, I thought this was a really great hike. I did this after a little bit of a hiatus of hiking just because I was dealing with some flight deficiencies and some like injuries and then time and things like that just life happens uh, so this was a great kind of like to get my body back to used to hiking all over again with all that being said i appreciate you if you watched it all the way through please hit the like the comment subscribe and again i hope to see you in the next video take care